the Ashen Demons working with the enemy? You're sure? If my reports are anything to go by, yes. And as this demon is the one who slew your old company, I would like you to handle the matter. Nothing would make me happier, honest. But you shouldn't change your strategy for my sake. Just focus on winning the battle, that's it. Yet I know this is what drives you. I want to do everything in my power to help you achieve it. Well, I can't argue with that. But this little rivalry isn't worth losing a war over. Is that all it is to you? A rivalry? I must admit, I've been meaning to ask. Do you not bear hatred for the person who murdered your friends? Not really. Death kind of just comes with the territory when you're a merc. And your friends one day can just as easily become your targets the next. Now, not getting my money or having a client betray me, yeah, that'll get me upset. But I can't go around seeking vengeance for every last fallen ally. It would consume my whole life. Is that so? I'm sure you can relate, as a king and all. There's only so much burden one person can carry. Or maybe you can't relate. If you'll forgive me for saying so, I think you've been letting things weigh on you too much. <sighs> Be that as it may, your words just now have given me an idea. Please forget I ever mentioned this if you find it disagreeable, but... What do you think about inviting those mercenaries onto our side? Perhaps not in the immediate future, but once their allegiance is not so concrete. Have them join us? I don't know. Loyalty is an important concern in the mercenary business, I understand. But if we were to provide greater pay than the Empire... Rodrigue wishes to see you, Your Majesty. He has questions about our formation. Thank you, Dudu. If you'll excuse me, I must attend to this. We can speak more later. Hand in hand with the very people you've been hunting, hmm? This king of ours sure has some funny ideas.
We shall rep- Let's begin. Allow me to help. Shall we? I'm here to help, if you don't mind. Begin the operation. Allow me to lend a hand. Hear you loud and clear. Begin the operation. Allow me to lend a hand. Hear you loud and clear. I might just be able to help. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. We will proceed as planned. We must strike. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything to me. Held the Imperial Army here. Put a halt to their invasion. But be wary. They possess no small supply of skilled warriors. From the looks of it, the guy who came down the ruins of that village. Keep your guard high. Those mercenaries could be waiting behind any corner. For now, though, let us deal with the foes we can. The road to the village is blocked off. We'll need to find another way. among the enemy's ranks, your majesty. As well as the Death Knight. The Empire is most fierce in general. We should try to keep them both isolated if we can. Enemies! Oh, they're coming to get us! Everyone, defend yourselves! Nice of them to open the doors for us. Now let's take control. I've got this. I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything to me. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. My turn. Tag! Tag! Now's our chance. Attack! I've awaited this moment. This 
stronghold will likely prove the key to our victory on this day. We must keep it at all costs. I'm coming too. I can't let them keep pushing us around. So, come. Keep your distance for now. We must focus our efforts on the remaining Imperial encounters. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Just yet. Time isn't right for Not a problem. I've got a rematch then. Good. Stand down. Here we go. Let's move on to the other. Let's drop off! Let's be reckless. Let's move. Counting on you, Felix! Guess the pressure's on them! Proceed as planned. We must. Now that I think of it, these catapults may be of use to us. Oh, they got our catapults! They're coming for us! Run away! She's their leader. As much as it hurts to say it. We cannot let her leave here alive. Too good about this, but that's just how it goes in war. We don't want to have to kill you, Bernadetta. Please. Wait, what? No, I'm not ready to die. Please, don't murder me. Demon 
and the Death Knight are the only major threats remaining. I make for the simple stronghold. My prey awaits. Fine. I'll handle the strongholds on the perimeter then. I think I can use this. All units, clear out of the central stronghold. We aim to ensnare the Death Knight. Stand against me. At least try to make it interesting then. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Come on, Mercy. We can do it together. Even the Ashen Demon can win against superior numbers. Call in reinforcements from the Northwestern Stronghold. This won't be easy. And here I thought the kid could handle it alone. <laughs> Looks like I was wrong. Reinforcements. We can't let them seize the central stronghold. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to. I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything to me. <laughs> Get 
kingdom can be. We've really risen to the occasion. Attack the village ruins whenever you say the word. worth a shot we will proceed as planned we must struggle we'll give it a thousand percent the soldiers are they trying to heal the death knight Such thing as being too careful. I should send some help the kids' way. I've got. We can't it? afford Where's to rest on our laurels here. Let's deal with these guys quick. How many times have we fought now? Either way, this will be the last. 
You're right about that. I'm not letting you leave here alive, Ashen Demon. I will be overwhelmed if this keeps up. Let us begin. We'll do it together. I've got it now. No, I can still fight. Our attacks are proving effective. Just one more push, and we'll have them. I might actually have to work for this one. We finally got that menace on the ropes. We can win this. You got my back? Let us begin. We'll do it together. for one so small. Perhaps you truly are one of their descendants. In any event, you labored to destroy my vessel, did you not? That is a deed most foul. One you will pay for with your life! <laughs> You cannot hope to win so bound in flesh. Pitiful. This isn't a fight you can win. Get out of there! You can run all you like. Why do you... fight me? Why so this? And here I thought we won. As did I. Who knew the Ashen Demon had that kind of strength? Not that I'm making excuses. You gave me power of my own, and it still wasn't close to enough. That's not true. Of course it is. What am I even up against here? It's like I looked away for one second, and suddenly I was facing someone else entirely. Hmm, that would explain what was troubling me before. That is the unique danger I sensed. Still, you can win this fight. I know you can. And I'll do whatever I can to make it so. We'll claim victory over that monster together. You know what? You're right. I'll be strong enough one day if I just keep at it. Still, one day could be years from now at this rate. We should probably think of a backup plan. Besides, Dimitri said they might even be working for the kingdom before long. We can't count on being rivals forever. What a shocking turn of events! You'd seriously consider accepting that fiend as one of your allies? You make it sound like the worst idea in the world. We have a war to win here, remember? Gotta keep an open mind. Ah, I understand now. You've witnessed your adversary's true strength and convinced yourself you cannot win. What? No. I just know a valuable resource when I see one. And we're far better off with them than we are against them. If that's really how you feel, then so be it. But trust me, you don't need to worry. You'll get stronger soon, I promise. So maybe don't go relinquishing your prey just yet. After all, I desire nothing more than to see you achieve your goals.
defy the hand, and yet you've done just that. So this is my name, yet I am also called The Beginning. I am progenitor and mother to all who call Fotlin home. Where am I? I am not here to answer all you ask. Yet, I will grant the one. You stand before my throne. If you so wish, then take a seat. But know then that your flesh is mine to wield. You lack the power to resist. My flesh? What are you saying? You should not have interfered! I could have cut that wretch down with a stroke! Oh, that one vexes me so. When next we meet, I must step in and deal with them myself. It is quite clear that you cannot my power safely wield. Do I speak plain? Not in the slightest. I have so many questions. Hey, lazy bones. <laughs> Get up already. You sure you're all right? You don't seem like yourself. I'm fine. Just a strange dream. Like the ones you used to have. Yes, but this time we talked. Huh? You fool! That was no dream! Ugh. What's wrong? Nothing. Wait, didn't you... Do you lack wits? My voice is not for him. Whenever I speak, it is for you alone. On second thought, I think there is something wrong. I mean, my hair's still a different color, right? Yes, and your eyes too. How that happened is beyond me. Anyway, we lost the battle, so probably best to wave this place goodbye and find somewhere to rest up. Is that a fact? Actually, I think I'd feel more comfortable staying here on the battlefield a while longer. I just need to swing my sword around, get my head on straight. Don't worry, I'll be fine. If you say so, but if it gets any worse, tell me. This isn't an enemy we can beat if we're not at full strength. We're not just up against the kingdom here. They've got the church on their side too, and the Knights of Saros. This will be a trying battle indeed, but I will follow you to the ends of the earth if I must, Captain. Even in the face of my own former colleagues, I won't pull a single punch. Thanks, Alois. I know it won't be easy, but the Empire's shoving a lot of gold in our pockets for this. We've gotta deliver on our end of the deal. Even if it means taking on the Knights of Saros to do it. You look troubled, Gerald. Is something wrong? Ugh, can't hide anything from you, can I? It's just I have history with someone from the church. And I'd rather keep it as history if I can. I don't want anything to do with them, not as enemy or ally. Hmm. You're really going back to Ferdiad? After all it took to get to this point? I will only be gone for a short while. A month at most, perhaps. I don't understand. What could possibly demand your presence in the capital so urgently? Is there something big going down in Ferdiad? I can't imagine things have gotten too out of hand with my father there to hold the line. Explain to them, Bor. This is a threat only us northerners understand. Very well. A group of soldiers from the Srang region has broken through the defenses in Gautier territory and makes for the capital. According to reports, Duke Ivan herself rode out to intercept them, but was overwhelmed and subsequently captured. 
All contact from Margrave Gautier has ceased as well. So we've no way of confirming any of this. What? This is horrible! You can say that again. There's no chance of mounting a war effort when your capital's been ransacked. To be honest, I can't imagine my old man going down that easy. It's still true that we've lost contact with him, though. Something's definitely happening here. This is quite an alarming revelation indeed. Not only has the church made the northern town of Camulus its new base of operations, but many of our members have been traveling to Ferdiad on a regular basis. Srang... That's the peninsula north of Farkas, yes? Yeah, but as far as I can remember, they've always been peaceful. Peaceful? Hardly. You show even the slightest hint of weakness, and they'll sink their teeth into you without so much as a second thought. The Srang region borders the northeast side of our kingdom. It's a harsh land, blanketed in snow from the outset of the year to its dying days. I can only assume they seek fertile ground, and in doing so, the means for their survival. Shame. We could have negotiated had they not been so intent on pillaging. As it stands, I'll be returning to the north to lead a force meant to repel them. With both the Margrave and Duke Yvonne missing in action, the matter is gravely serious. His Majesty has no choice but to get personally involved. If it's really that bad, wouldn't it be better if we tagged along? You'll need backup if the fight's gonna be as tough as you're making it out to be. You cannot deny that, Dimitri. This matter concerns us as well. We would be remiss not to offer our assistance. I appreciate the offer, truly. But we need to maintain a robust force here as well. You're one of the key figures in this army now. Look after Aryan Road for me. We have struck a blow to the Empire's forces. But it is only a matter of time until they hit back. To do? Rodrigue? The two of you will ride with me. A few dozen knights will be joining us as well. Yes, Your Majesty. It's still entirely possible that the Margrave's envoy was somehow delayed. That nothing is in fact amiss. Sylvain, I'd like you to await them here in Arian Road, just in case. Got it. Stay safe out there, Your Majesty. As for you, Duke Fraldarius, I leave command of the army to you in my stead. If the envoy does arrive, well, the appropriate course of action will be in your hands. Just remember, the soldiers stationed here are not mere soldiers. They're kingdom citizens. And as such, we have a duty to protect every last one of them. If they're lost, I will have nothing left, save hollow prayers for the dead. <laughs> Fine, then. Please, don't look at me like that. I know this burden is a heavy one, but I suspect you will lead them better than I. Now then, I expect you all to keep word of my leaving between ourselves. It would not do to have that information fall into the Empire's hands. <laughs>